Welcome to Control Solutions. Our mission is to provide you with the best equipment and services when it comes to vaccine temperature monitoring. We have been in business for 23 years and our crew is dedicated to be there to serve you. By the end of this video, you'll be able to configure your data logger, use all the functionality on it, and download and review your data. Let's get started. Thank you for purchasing the VFC 400. Before you can start using this data logger, you will need to download the Control Solution software located on our website. Once you're on the home screen, you're gonna select where it says Software Downloads. You're going to download the Control Solutions VTMZ software 2.9 revision 6. After running the installation, a window may appear requesting an administrator's username and password. If this happens, you will need to have your IT or help desk finish the installation with elevated privileges. you're gonna to go to edit and then options. You're gonna select your temperature scale to be in Celsius or Fahrenheit and then press okay. To set up the VFC 400, you're gonna insert your logger into the docking station. You'll get a pop-up saying a new log tag has been detected. You'll get another pop-up saying that it has no stored readings. You're gonna press okay. Before you configure your data logger, be sure to check in with your state and see if they have any settings that they are recommending you to follow. For this example, we will follow CDC recommendations for a fridge in Fahrenheit. And go to Log Tag Configure. Once the action list has loaded, we're going to start by giving your device a name. You're going to want to make sure that you have it on a push button start and record readings so that. Record a reading every six minutes. This is your sample rate. The days and number of readings is an auto population of this sample rate. You're gonna to wanna to have your trigger alarm on, your audible alarm on, your trigger alarm on as well, and your audible alarm on. You're gonna select advanced options. You're gonna have alarm remains on if reading returns to non-violation range. Select your temperature display unit to be in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Show additional display text. Show total summary of days collected. Allow logging to stop with stop button and enable the quick start. You're gonna press okay and then hit next. Once the configuration goes through to 100% and you see a green arrow on prepare logs for next use, that means that your data logger has been configured. At this point, you can hit close. Now that the VFC 400 has been configured, you will see the word ready on the screen. This means that it is ready to start as soon as you plug it into the probe and hit the start clear stop button. When you are ready to start it, you will simply hold down the button. When the word ready goes away, you will let go and the temperature will show up. Here are a few things that you'll see on the screen of the VFC 400. Up at the corner, you will see a check mark that means that the temperature is currently within range. If the temperature is out of range, you will see an X mark and you will also hear a beeping noise. REC means that the data logger is currently recording. You also have your current time, you have how many days you have been recording, and your current temperature. To review your maximum and minimum temperatures, you will simply need to press down on the review mark button. When you hold it down the first time, that'll show you your maximum temperature. You will see a T flashing for today. When you press it a second time, it'll show you your minimum temperature and it'll show you a T flashing for today. To review previous max and mins, you will just continue pressing the review mark button. The max and min temperatures will reset themselves every night at midnight. If your logger is currently alarming or you're ready to download the data, simply hold down the start clear stop button when REC goes away, you'll let go and your logger will be in the stopped mode. When you're ready to download the data off the VFC 400, you're gonna insert the device into the docking station. 
You'll get a pop-up saying that a new logger has been detected. This is the screen of the data that you'll see. Your logger will also be reconfigured, so you're gonna press OK. Once the data has come up, you'll see that it's automatically under the Report tab. You'll also have the Chart tab that'll show you a graph, the Data tab that'll show you the raw data, Summary that will show you a summary of the entire span that it was recording, and Day Summary to show you each day that it recorded. That concludes today's training video. For more information, please visit our website. We thank you for being a loyal customer, and we look forward to serving you.